Hi, everybody. Kat Williams here, your premier real estate concierge. And, you know, picking back in on yesterday's video where I talked about the impact these uh, interest rates are going to have on buyers in the market combined with the already low inventory. And I had mentioned that once uh, these interest rates drop by a full percent, we're going to have millions and millions of new buyers on the market, which is going to kind of put us back into the whole COVID type situation, multiple offers, uh, offers over asking, increased home prices and so forth. But rather than taking my word for it as simply a real estate agent, um, I thought I'd bring in an expert, Dan Mahoney from U Mortgage. So Dan is a uh, works for U Mortgage and uh, is in the business of lending money to people to buy a house. So Dan, um, can you confirm what I'm saying or what the lenders are looking at um, from their perspective with these interest rates that are coming down pretty quickly, relatively speaking. Yeah, Kat, I mean, you couldn't have been more spot on with what you were discussing yesterday. You know, um, one of the biggest things that we're seeing right now is we're seeing buyers that are sitting on the sidelines waiting for these rates to come down, which they're already starting to come down. We've had a we've had a really good improvement in interest rates over the last two weeks now. Uh, so the rates are already starting to come down. And what you're going to see is all of these buyers that have been saying, well, I'm going to wait for rates to drop. I'm going to wait for rates to drop. They're all going to come back into the buying market as these rates come down. And, and not only just the people that can buy a house right now, even with the higher rates that they want to buy when it's lower, you're going to have people that don't qualify right now that will qualify. Like the data suggests that there's about 3 million buyers that can't qualify for a home now from their debt to income ratios that will when interest rates come down. So that means that you're fighting for, you know, three times the competition on every house that you go to look at, which what is that going to do to the home prices? You know, when, when you're getting three times the offers, those home prices, we're going to see the hyper appreciation in these homes like we did a couple of years ago. And with inventory as low it is, as it is right now, I think you're going to see the appreciation go even faster than it did last time around. So uh, I, I can't stress to buyers right now more that you need to buy now while there's less competition in the market because you know we're going to be able to refinance you into a lower rate as these rates come down. And we are going to be doing some really great promotions for our clients that if you take advantage of buying now, we can help you know, we can help with promotions to get your interest rate down for the first year worth of payments. And then our goal is to refinance you before you get to that 13th payment where the interest rate would go back up. Uh, so we're doing everything we can to make home buying affordable for people to do it now because we know what's going to happen when these buyers come back into the market. And one of the things that you were talking about when you mentioned um, special uh, programs uh, was a buy down, an interest rate buy down. And I've talked a lot about that um, on my social media over the last year. Uh, you can do a three, two, one, a two, one, or even a one buy down. And I've explained to uh, potential buyers what that looks like. And um, so I, I'm hoping that my viewers understand that. But can you explain the difference between a buy down and an adjustable rate mortgage? Because I think that is what scares people is they think that a buy down is like an adjustable rate mortgage. Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, so uh, first and foremost, an adjustable rate mortgage is like that rate on your adjustable rate mortgage pretty much never stops adjusting. It's going to have a period where the rate is fixed for X amount of years. Typically, it's like a five, seven or 10 years. It's fixed, but then it adjusts once a year going forward. So what we're doing with these temporary rate buy downs it's still a 30 year fixed rate mortgage, but we're prepaying some interest up front so that that interest is just getting put into an escrow account. It's not like it's not changing the terms of your loan or anything like that. So, for example, on a one on a one oh buy down. So that's where let's say your interest rate is seven percent for the first year, you're going to have an interest rate of six percent. So we look at the difference of the payment from 7% to 6%. Let's say that difference in payment is $150. So we would take 150 times 12, so $1,800. $1,800 gets paid into basically an escrow account. And then that gets, it gets supplemented each month that you make your payment. Some money gets pulled out of that escrow to 
to basically complete what your total payment would have been. Um, and that's how we can get your monthly payment down a little bit for that first year. And then after you've made 12 payments, your payment goes back up to that full 7% interest uh, payment. Uh, and one of the things that we got a lot of questions on was, well, what happened if I, what happens if I refinance in six months and I've only used 900 of that $1,800 that was paid for? Well, that extra $900 that's left over then gets used as a principal reduction to go towards your payoff when you refinance it. So you never lose any of that money. It's it's not it's not like a permanent buy down where you might pay four thousand dollars to buy your interest rate down from seven percent to six percent. And if you refinance before you've saved four thousand dollars in your payments, doesn't matter. Like you're not going to recover that money. The the temporary buy downs you never lose any of that money, which is why it's such a great product. And with the temporary rate buy down, they can still refinance before that year is up, right? So let's say they buy down to 6% and some crazy thing happens and interest rates go down to about 5%. They can still refinance, right? 100%. And if there's any any of that leftover prepaid interest, like I said, that will get credited towards their payoff. And the same thing after their one year expires. If interest rates are lower than the 7%, mm -hmm. let's say six and a half, they can refinance at that point as well. 100%. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks for taking time with us today, Dan. And uh, to all of my uh, viewers out there and my subscribers, if you have any questions about uh, mortgage or what buying or selling a home might look like for you in today's market, both Dan and I are available to answer questions that you have. And um, hopefully we can steer you in the right direction and get you into your dream home. Or if you're downsizing, um, get you into that home that's a little bit easier to take care of. I know personally, I'm regretting upsizing, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, take care and have a blessed day.